I'll go here to show tray because what I want to do now is I want to create uh, different tags previously named layers for different options. So let me go alternative one and I'll put these buildings here to alternative one, including this one. I'll just move them here. And now you can see again, if I just hide the, the layer, again, the data is being updated practically the same way as it was when I was sliding just those uh, sliders. So what I want to do now is I want to have this version uh, here as alternative one. I'll just go here to add a new view, animation, add scene. Um, and then I will hide this one and create alternative two. Alternative two. And let me just quickly sketch some buildings here, just some blocks, uh, maybe 16 meters. Okay, create them. They can be something like that. Um, like, okay, and maybe add different uses. Let's go here. Of course, I could also use the generator, but also doing something really simple is quite quick uh, in any case. Uh, so let's say this is my alternative uh, two. Um, let's go with the hotel for this one. Make it a bit smaller. And what I'll do is I will just add another scene. So we have scene one and scene two. Now for the scene one, we have obviously here a problem. All of the buildings are here. So I'll just go and hide uh, alternative two. Need to move these buildings to alternative two. So let me go with this one. Alternative two is here. And then for this one, just update it like that. Update. And then we can quickly switch from scene one to scene two and see both how how those alternatives are uh, are actually um, in our how, how they fit the context what are, what is the actual design of it and also what are the numbers that are coming out of it so we, we can have different options different design alternatives in a single model and with a click of a button we can switch from one to another. This can be quite useful tip for, for the workflow, especially with very early stages when we are comparing a few different design alternatives and deciding which one works best. Maybe even with, with the developers together, we can make some, some uh, changes and everybody can instantly see what those changes mean uh, in terms of the, of the uh, development itself but also in terms, not just in terms of the of uh, the numbers, but also in terms of the 3D uh, model.